Hey guys, EBP Man here. Uh, this video is going to be all about watch faces. This is going to be about how do you get designer watch faces from Watchland, and I'll touch upon some of the other ones that are available on the marketplace as well. So there are three applications on the market. There's probably another one that I haven't looked at if you count the uh, marketplace for uh, you know the Galaxy apps, um, and maybe one other, but these are the most popular ones that are on the marketplace today. Um, you have Watchmaster, and Watchmaster has some really nice premium looking watch faces. If you can see that one right there, that looks really, really nice. Um, and, you know, the, this is uh, both a pay and free um, watch store. So you could download this app. It does have a plugin that goes right into your uh, watch. Uh, so you'll be able to add watch faces. So that's one option that you have. You also have here um, Mr. Time Maker. And Mr. Time Maker is the best application on the market today for creating your own watch faces when you really don't have any programming uh, skills. So what you could do with Mr. Watchmaker is uh, either download watches that have already been created, right? So these are some uh, they are out there. There's some that you pay and some that you get for free. And then you, what you could do as well is create your own. And these uh, basically would, would come into a private mode, which is uh, my page where you would have your watch faces. So you could literally, um, we'll see if I'm, I think I am logged in, so you should see some of my watch faces come up. So you'll notice that here's a watch face that I created. Um, there's some additional watch face. This is a watch face that I liked that was on there. There are some private designs that you're going to see come up in a couple seconds. So I have a test one and a test two. And literally what I've done is I've taken um, screenshots, used some Photoshop to clean up some of the images, and then created these watches on this uh, application. And it's all on the web. Now the third uh, application, and probably one of the most popular, is called Watchland. Now Watchland is the source for replicas tons and tons and tons of replicas. Uh, the challenge that you're going to run into is that due to um, whatever circumstances the Watchline application does not work with the gear application now. However, it is a fantastic source of replicas. So what you could do when you go into the replica area, you could look at um, shared faces and there's some premium faces on this marketplace as well. I'm going to sh uh, show you that in a second. Um, all you have to do is go into the app and you'll see some of the faces come up um, now in a second. Uh, and once they come up, all you would do is download the faces to your watch. Now what that's going to do is it's going to bring in uh, what is called a GWD file, right? So it's a gear watch file. And that's the watch file that you put on your either your classic or your frontier using a third party software, which I'm going to show you now. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you what uh, the marketplace looks like. So these are literally probably a couple hundred different watch faces uh, that are available um, that have been either replicated or that people have designed and once again if you're not too technical um, even though it does require some technical skills you can go to this uh, marketplace to download them. So now this is the, uh, the application that I've been mentioning on the channel uh, it's the uh, Gear Watch Designer it's currently in beta and it's available if you go to uh, the following web address so you'll have to make sure that you go to developer Dot Samsung dot com, and there you'll find this uh, gear designer. Uh, you'll need to, um, it's in beta mode as you can see here, and the latest release was in September, so not all the features are there. There's uh, definitely some features that are available on the stock faces um, that are not available yet on this designer, but it's still it's a great resource for you to um, experiment and learn how to design watch faces. It does have tutorials and things that you can do. So literally, you could, um, as an amateur, uh, create and uh, customize certain templates, or as an expert, really design some significant watches. And what you could do with this is literally create um, watches that you can start selling on the marketplace. Just make sure that your watches are genuine, because uh, you don't want to deal with any kind of infringement of any kind. So. Uh, here you see uh, the designer, and it really looks like a Photoshop application, except that you have elements here. So you have background, index, uh, watch hands, uh, clock, images, text, and animations. So you'll be able to create your own watch faces. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to launch this gear manager, and we're going, I'm going to show you how you import a watch face. So now this is what the application looks like once you download it, either on your Mac or your PC. And um, there's a couple of menus that you need to know of. First of all, you know, and the most important one is opening up a project. You're going to take that GWD file that was downloaded from Watchland uh, that appears on your um, 
on your phone, and it's going to be in a download directory. Uh, in mine, it's download watch faces. Uh, and what you'll do is move it to a PC or a Mac. Once you do that, you'll choose open. Once you choose open, the watch is going to appear in this screen here. Now, you'll then go to project, and you'll notice how it says run device, run device. When you choose run on device, it's going to then connect to your watch, and it's going to um, upload the watch face onto your watch, and it'll be just like some of the other watch faces that you have. Now, there's a couple things that you're going to need to do. Um, first of all, you'll have to, uh, in order for the watch to connect, the watch will have to be on Wi-Fi, and it's on the same Wi-Fi as your PC. Second, what you'll need to do is make sure um, that under, I believe it's device. Let me double check that. I'm right now looking at my watch. Yeah, I think it's under the device that you'll need to be able, actually, I, let me correct that, gear info. It's under gear info where you'll go in, and you will want to make sure that you enabled debugging. So there is a setting there that's called debugging. That's going to allow for you to import or what is known in the industry as sideload watch faces. So once that's connected um, and you choose this run on device, your watch is going to show up in this area. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Once it shows up in this area and you have your watch face loaded, you can pass your watch face. Now, a couple things that need to happen. You need to create a, um, a certificate, an author certificate. So you need to register with Samsung because, again, this is for designers. This is for watch designers. So you'll need to register. You'll need to put in um, some credentials and establish those credentials. It's a one-time deal. And, and any time you create a watch face or move a watch face to your watch, uh, first of all, your watch will have to be registered for that process through uh, the development uh, process. And then second, you'll um, need to have a password associated with all your watch files. So that's the process. I know it sounds complex, but it really isn't. Let me show you how it works. So now this is a watch face that I'm working on. And you'll notice that um, it has one of my favorite brands uh, that I've replicated. Uh, and this is because I have some Photoshop skills. And what I'm doing is I'm adding some digitization to it, uh, features that I will want to have on the watch face. You notice here that I have added a fuel gauge. I'm putting some steps here. And then I also have um, another dial here that I'm going to have for seconds. And then it very much works like Photoshop. So you can enable layers, you can disable layer, layers, and you'll notice how things disappear. As I go down, let me go down to the, uh, the background, you'll notice that the background is gone. So these are the things, uh, this is how you create these watch faces. So let's say you got a watch face, right? And you do that file open, and you open the GWT, uh, GWD file. What you then do is go into project, and you go run on device. You'll notice that it's right here scanning the network and it's looking for my watch. All you do here is once your watch shows up by either finding the IP address or by you putting the manual IP address and you can find this on your watch, you choose this and you then choose upload. That's all it takes to upload the file. Now keep in mind, you still need to have a developer um, certificate. You have to establish that and this is, it's gonna walk you through the process to do that. And then once you uploaded it, it's there and it's there for your use. So I hope this video helps you understand your choices for watch faces, where you get them, and how you can install them from Watchland.